So today we're seeing how good the Behringer UD300 is against my favourite distortion pedal, the Boss DS2. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel, hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be doing a, a bit of a comparison video. My favourite distortion pedal for the last 20 something years has always been the Boss DS2. I've tried many other pedals in the past but I always come back to this one. This is my favourite. I just love the sound of it, I love the robust construction, I like the foot switch on it. Boss pedals basically are the boss, they are <laughs> brilliant pedals and been used by many a famous artist in their time. So recently I've been getting sort of hooked on Behringer pedals. They are pretty much clones of the, the more expensive counterparts and you can pick these up really cheap. This is a Behringer UD300. These have been discontinued but you can still pick them up on the used market. I paid £20 for this on eBay including free shipping and it is in minty fresh condition. It is clean. Uh, and it also comes with a box. So basically it's just a complete rip off of the bus one. You've got a switch there for the turbo mode where you've got a dial on this one but that's not a big, big difference. It's still kind of like a switch anyway. You've got your level, your tone, your distortion, pretty much the same. They both take 9 volt batteries, they both got a 9 volt power supply. The only real difference I suppose is metal, plastic, that hasn't got the extra remote input and yeah, different colours but you know I suppose I've got to be careful with copyright but a lot of people have told me these are decent pedals definitely try them out because like I say it's going to take me a lot to get off that Boss DS2 but yeah I'm very interested well I'm always going to be using a Boss DS2 but it's nice to have this as well so what I thought I'd do with these two pedals is sort of do a blind test I'll say one's A one's B but I won't tell you which one's what until the end of the video I'll set the tone and level to 12 o'clock on both I'll turn the turbo mode sort of on to 2 and then what I'll do is I'll just show a picture of the settings I'm using on both pedals and then you know play a little riff to them so what I'll start with is 12 o'clock on the distortion then I'll go 3 o'clock and then I'll go full on so it'll give you a good idea of what these sound like playing the same riffs so I guess the next thing is plug them in see what they sound like
there you go, that's a comparison between these two distortion pedals, my favourite, the Boss DS2, and this £20 alternative, the Behringer. So I can reveal A was the Behringer, and B was the Boss DS2. So, yeah, not bad at all. So in the room, mm, it's a tough one. I actually think that sounded a little bit more distorted higher up and I actually did prefer that full on but the lower end stuff I think that was a little bit more defined but I'll have a look back through the video when I you know have uploaded it because it will sound different on the video but in the room I'll probably say for the really heavier stuff I actually preferred the the Behringer but for the lower quieter stuff you know less distortion this just just sounded that little bit more you know there's a little bit more clarity in there but again 20 pound and these are about £60. The metal casing, plastic casing, you know, that is a great pedal. These last forever and these are pretty decent. Again, the plastic, as long as you don't fram around, they're going to last well. All the controls work well. I like the the pedal switch on it. I prefer these to the, the button ones anyway. But yeah, I'm really impressed with that. So let me know what you think to it in the comments below. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more pedals comparison videos let me know just let me know what pedals you want comparing in the comment section below and you know, I'll be quite happy to do that so yeah please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell you can follow me on Instagram the guitar manifesto check the description below for guitar manifesto merch and other stuff and uh, I shall see you all very soon thanks for watching peace out guitar manifesto.